Hi guys, so one of my subscribers, The Bright Side 30, asked me what I would be using in terms of school supplies like binders or notebooks or what. So actually, I use notebooks, folders, and binders. Um, so to start off with the notebooks, um, I developed this method like the end of my, or the end of my high school career, like senior year sometime, and um, I grew a lot. I've always loved these five star notebooks because they're the most durable. Um, especially because like in a locker when you're shoving them in and out, you know a cardboard cover can tear so easily. These things are five stars; they do not tear. So I love these. And one day I accidentally picked up the three subject um each one of these notebooks is three subject and I actually picked up a three subject one day and I was like well these are kind of expensive I'm not going to totally like not use this for the price that I paid for it so I used it and I developed a really great system and ever since then I've bought three subject notebooks for my classes and what I do is I use one of these notebooks per class and I bought Six of them. I just have a three pack right here, but I bought six and I, in each notebook, each notebook is designated to a class and one section will be like my class notes, my lecture notes, the other section will be the um, like book notes that I take on my own and then the third section I usually designate to homework. And that really helps keep me organized, especially when I date everything because dating everything is so important. And um, I just like to keep everything in a notebook just because it's all together, it's all there. Um, I don't have to worry about falling out or losing like organization because there have been times when I've like dropped a folder or something and I lose everything. So I just like these for class notes and it's really great because you can get um, a three pack of these notebooks at Sam's for not that much, it's cheaper to get it you know, in an entire pack. So I got two packs of these. So yeah, I really like using these for notes. Um, again, for college though, I will probably have to kind of like alter it per class. You know, maybe one class I'll need to use two sections for class notes and one section for book notes or vice versa. So um, pretty much it's kind of like the same. It depends on the teacher. You kind of have to alter it differently, but I love these three subject notebooks. They're huge like lifesavers for me and um, they just help keep me organized better with my notes but there are some teachers who do actually there are a ton of teachers I've really never really encountered encountered a teacher that doesn't like to give handouts so whatever section we are on like so many chapters or chapters so I always put my handouts in a folder um, and I date them and I put them in there chronologically so then that helps if I if I need to reference them back in my notes. But I use this folder and I use these folders. These are just some old ones. I prefer the five star folders um, because these are the trapper style, style folders. Um, and I have the five star upstairs. I just couldn't find them in my school, in my huge like school mound of stuff. So um, I use folders and I put all my handouts in there and then when it's getting close to a test or a quiz. I have to have a big surface, like a big table, and I open up my notes and I take all my handouts out and I look at them and I make a study guide. And the study guide making process is a long one, but it totally helps you because you can look, you know, you can flip back to your book notes, you can flip to your lecture notes, and then you can look at your handout and it really helps. And so I have that study guide and you go into the test and you feel so prepared. And then once they're done with all those handouts, I take them out of this folder so my folder is ready, fresh, and new again. And I put them in a one inch binder. And on the very top, I put the study guide that I made for that section. Because um, I like to have the study guide up front for when I study for exams. Because, you know, when you're studying for exams, and I use, you know, like dividers. So when I'm flipping through the dividers and I look at, you know, looking through my study guide and it's like, I don't remember that. So I can flip back to my handouts or reference my notes that I took. And it totally helps me because it's like, oh yeah, I remember studying that. I remember that now. So it really helps to have the study guide on top instead of like, you know, looking all over the place for it. And um, 
it's great too because sometimes um, I prefer to just get the white ones and then of course this is like the um, automatic cover that it comes with but I like to make my own and I'll show you guys when I'm done making them um, how I like to design them but it's really great because you can put in a sheet with the class on there and then you can easily rip it out by the second semester so you can put a new one in there um, so you don't need to go and buy a complete you know other binder for another class because um, I don't know some, by the middle of the school year binders are like two dollars and it's like okay sorry I'm not paying that much for that but um yeah so you can use these and they're really great to just kind of help keep you organized especially for exams you can reuse them you can make them pretty I prefer the white ones and then I just make my own pretty design but yeah that's what I do to keep organized I use like everything but it's really helpful so the three subject notebooks for my notes and I section it off differently um, my folders for the handouts for that section that we're going over and then my binder to hold the um, old handouts and the old study guide which comes in huge help for the exam now this is kind of dry this is hard to maybe understand um, because there's no like real concrete examples but as the school year um, progresses I'll definitely show you because it does help a lot for me so thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps you um, for, and I'm very grateful that the Brightside 30 asked me and I hope this helps you so thank you guys for watching